guys welcome back to the channel so today is march 5th 2023 and i'll also give you a favorite call i think you know it by now that when i stand over here and start talking to you guys i'll also give you a favorite call of some sort um i'm going to be designing dresses not really designing just recreating dresses for um, um okay how am i gonna put this so she has worked with me before she's a model um and she's modeled uh, um some of my dresses and she is going to be an mc at uh the face of your soul 2023 so she needs one dress but because it's more and I like giving myself a challenge. I decided to make her three dresses. Tell me how. <laughs> I'm gonna put it off in such a short time because I have only a week. Talk about Project Runway. Talk about like next in fashion. All right, listen. Talking of which, I'm actually watching um, Next in Fashion on Netflix. That is fire. That's crack. <laughs> Cocaine. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give you a favorite call. And okay, before I give you a favorite call, let me show you um, the dresses that I'll be making. Uh, one of them is this gown that I saw on Instagram. And the next one is that one. And I don't have a third one in mind yet. So I'm gonna stick with this two for now and I've already seen how excited I was. I didn't even sleep last night. I woke up so early this morning to create patterns for her already and we have patterns, lace and gentlemen, patterns, and I'll show you a mock-up of this um, of this skirt. But uh, here is our huge ass plastic. In here we have the goods. We have all the fabrics we are going to need for the project. But I don't think it's everything it's gonna have to do because this is where the money went. So uh, let's begin with the um, red dress. It's not gonna be red, just FIY. So in here, I have fabric that I've or, or already had. I've already had this. The English is going. I've already had this fabric in the studio because I wanted to do something for my brand. But now I'm going to use it for this uh, gown. It's this very vibrant, like a neon green taffeta fabric. I don't remember how much I've bought. I want to say two meters or three meters of this on here, and I'm hoping it's three. <laughs> but yeah, it's this um, taffeta over here. I don't remember how much this costs, so I'm not gonna tell you. I also bought this here lace. This was actually bought by Rose. So Rose is somebody I'll be working with. She's a fashion designer as well. Um, the, um, the designer that I said I was going to be working with on the brand in Lesotho, that's her. She bought this, so we are going to mix this together to get that red dress. I'm gonna put it over here. Just imagine it in this colors and in this pretty, pretty lace. The brick and here we got two meters of this it was 80 rent per meter so 160 that's those ones and then for the other dress I even have a receipt in here so this is um, mesh that mesh that I use for petticoats, I got, I want to say six meters of it. 
I want to say six liters because over here it's 180 and it's 30 bucks per meter. I hope this is six liters, guys. And then I got gang horse hair, it's like 10 liters, uh, and it's actually 10 rent. Per, no, 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 I'm lying. It's 20 rent per meter. This is 20 rent per meter. And then in here, we got our invisible zip, the longest one you could find. I don't remember how much an invisible zip costs, but usually we buy three rand. This is two meters of lining, no, three meters of lining. Is it two or three? Yeah, I don't remember how much this costs also. But over here is the, the main fabric. It is a um, Thai silk. Okay, let me, let me do this. So this is the outside. The part that's not, that's not too shiny. This is the outside. And I got 6 meters of this. It was um, 30 rent per meter. And then I got this hard um, pelon, paper pelon. And then three meters of bony. This is not enough. This, this is not enough and it's 10 rent per meter. Yeah, this is the, the thing that's 10 rent per meter. Also, because Rose is also going to the event, she bought herself some fabrics, a long a zipper, she wants a jumpsuit, and then she bought this um, sequined glitter fabric, it's like a lace, it's pretty, it's rose gold, and then a Stretch sateen, yeah, and then a stretch sateen in this uh, color. She wants to make a jumpsuit, so that's that. And this, we will only uh, get started on it once she comes through. Otherwise, I'm going to be focusing on the two dresses that I showed you. And I've made a mess <laughs> that I have to clean up and I'm feeling and trading the process. But let me show you the mock-up that I did for the skirt. I just did the front part of it um, because I just wanted to see how the um, little umbrella looking skirt is going to look. Just the front part though. Um, I feel like it will show me what I want to see. It has shown me already, <laughs> but I'm going to show you what it's giving. Okay, so this is the skirt. It's not giving much <laughs> right now because it doesn't have like boning underneath. But look, love the shape, right? That's the shape we are kind of going for like that sort of umbrella looking um, structure. See? But you'll see it better, I promise, once I start um, adding some structure in it. I wanted to use this technique that I, I've learned from, what's her name? I'll leave her name somewhere. She's here on um, YouTube. And she does like pretty dresses that have like skeletons and whatever. So I learned all about doing skeletons for structured pieces from her. Um, and I wanted to use her technique. But looking at the time I have and the finances, I don't think I'm going to be able to execute it as proper. 
and on time. So I'm opting to use very hard interfacing, paper interfacing for the structure. And then I'll figure out the structure thing in another um, um, project. But for now, that's the idea. The thing looks like that. I hope you see it. So I think for now, I'm going to finish off one of the patterns. And I don't think I'm going to show you that. I'll probably show you once I start cutting the fabric. Mm. And then, yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Talk to you later. basically this is what i did over here i added um my one centimeter seam allowances on the front pieces and also my cup and my foam cup you do know we don't add a seam allowance where they meet in the middle that's why you don't see you don't see a seam allowance over there uh, but over here we have a seam allowance and then all around on the other pieces so I'm going to quickly do a mock-up of these two pieces here, the center front and the side panel, because I want to add some um, style lines in front. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that quickly and, and do my little style lines. But I'm not going to show you because I don't have... I, don't, I think this is going to be too long, actually. It's not that I don't have space. I think it's going to be too long because the footage I have in here is a lot. So I'm going to say uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching this vlog. Uh, come back again to watch how the dresses progress. 
please like share comment and subscribe let's talk down below what you want to see on the channel but as i am doing things i'll keep recording and showing you i am still working on my capsule wardrobe collection type thing so that will still be part of the uploads on the channel once i am done with my little custom orders here but yeah thank you guys for watching see y'all later peace and out hey guys welcome back to the channel today is the 6th of march it's a monday and it is the beginning of our very hard work this week excuse my skin has been breaking up because i'm going through a lot um so we are beginning the cutting process of the two dresses that i said i'm doing for uh face of lesotho mc Divello. uh so yeah the real work is beginning today i'm hoping that i can knock off one dress today and maybe a piece of the next because what needs to happen is she needs to come through and fit on wednesday i haven't told her this um yet but by the end of the day i should have at least pushed enough um so that i can tell her to come over on um wednesday to come fit and <laughs> The person that I'll be working with won't be coming through till Wednesday. So that means bulk of the work has to be on me. Yeah. But it's whatever. I need to carry on uh, and stop introing this video too long. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'll, how many times I'll be coming back to talk to you guys. Because I know it gets a bit boring if you're watching only the process. And I'm not coming through and telling you what I'm doing. Or like just chatting with you in between takes. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting right now the green dress. And then stitch. I want to cut and stitch same time. <laughs> because there's no time to, you know, cut the other one and then cut both and then just stitch it's gonna be too much for me so let me just cut this one and then go on ahead and stitch it and then when i'm done with this green one i can go ahead and cut the um, cream white dress all right let me prop you <laughs> so i had the petals already prepped over here and I'm hoping this will make uh, my life a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and cut both the lace and the skirt part, the outer part of the, of the dress that doesn't need uh, structure and stitch. Yeah. <laughs> One step at a time.
Hey guys, so I have here this very hard paper mesh or what? Paper violin <laughs> uh, or pellon. This is what I'm going to use for my structure, including boning. I really don't want to do the fancy schmancy type um, structuring a skeleton. This is going to get me halfway there quicker. And then the boning is just going to help keep the um, panels, you know, like an umbrella, basically. So right now what I'm going to do is just cut um, just pieces of the skirt from this and then go about my business. Do this off camera. Okay, guys, so I am done cutting the paper by lean, the very hard one, and this is how it's looking like it's already giving the skirt some shape um, because it was rolled when it came so. Um, I'm just going to stitch it just how it is whatever it's doing I'm gonna let it do it and then uh, probably insert some boning I'm not sure if I have enough but I'm gonna try and insert some boning uh, in the front pieces on the seams just to see how it looks and then I'll ask Rose to get me some more boning so that I can finish off the back. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and stitch um, the skirt with the lace on top. Of course, it has to have its own lace. So this is how the skirt is going to look. Right? And then on the seams, I'm going to insert some boning. But I'm probably not going to show that because the phone is running out of battery. So you're probably going to see a finished skirt. Basically, I'm going to charge the phone right now. If it's not the finished skirt, babe, it's going to be the whole dress because I have three dresses to do this week. And I don't have time to be filming <laughs> and also, you know, cutting, stitching, all of this good jazz. But wherever I'm able to give you an update, I'll give you an update. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and touch the phone and stitch my skirt and uh, also hopefully the, um, the bodice. Hey guys! channel you are probably gonna beat me up where you catch me you're gonna beat me up <laughs> it's literally like the eighth 
today of March and it's a Wednesday. Rose is over here and we are hard at work uh, pushing the dresses. I'm gonna show you how far we are. She's busy with the boning over there. I'm gonna show you what she's doing in a minute. Just wanted to intro this part. Uh, I'm so stressed, you can tell on my face I'm breaking out. It's horrible. It's giving. You are struggling, sis. <laughs> you need a sabbatical, sis. You need a break. <laughs> so, okay, let me just tell you around because I'm, I'm clowning, okay? All right, all right, all right, it's fine. So, this is Rose. Rose, say hi. This side. Hi. <laughs> and this is what she's busy with over here boning for our green dress. She's hard at work. And then over here, I know it's not giving anything right now, but this is our, um, our showstopper dress. And we've already attached the petticoat down on the bottom. We still need to cut the um, other bits, especially the ones that need to go on top and also the lining underneath. I'm just gonna do a full circle. And then let me show you why her hair pin was. I think I showed you guys um, a pattern of this dress. When I say I hated the end result, <laughs> this was the end result. It looked very flat. My sister kept saying, no, it's also nice in its own way. But I was like, girl, are you, are you joking? Are you joking? Our, our little influencer is going to uh, face off Lesotho and she's going to be an MC. Do we want to play? Oh, hell no. We are not playing. We are not letting them breathe. That's on period. So over here is the, um, the bodice that I had done before and I hated it. So I'm keeping this for little baby Toto. I'll make her dress out of this, I think. But this I'm keeping away from our client. Bye. And this baby girl is what we came up with. <laughs> Period. I know we are doing a, a whole lot of um, corsets with bra cups, but this is what we are known for. So let's just lean into what we are known for. But this is what it's giving, and I'm loving whatever this is doing over here. Rose just put this together real quick. <laughs> and after she's done with the lining, I hope she can put the lining in. So, ma, so that we are like done done with the bodice for this um, green dress but let me show you the umbrella skirt because it's giving I don't care what nobody says but this this is giving <laughs> it's really cute take my word for it right now you, you can't really tell what's going on but trust and believe once we have put the boning see we've, we've got like gang loads of boning I told you that Rose will bring us some boning and she did. That she did. So after we insert boning in here, the skirt is going to stand on its own. That's what we are hoping and praying for in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So that's the skirt. It's giving umbrella uh, type looks. But I'm thinking, I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know. When do you think we should uh, tell Develop to come fit? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, you think we'll be done? So I'm gonna text Tibello and see if she's available tomorrow so she can come to fit the dresses. But otherwise, we are almost done. I'm not lying. We are almost done. And I'm so excited and happy and thankful that we have Rose here with us, partnering. Rose, how do you feel about our partnership? I'm so excited. She's so excited. <laughs> and she can't not hide it. I cannot hide it. <laughs> Alright, later guys. See y'all in the next clip. Bye. Ciao.